In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure VirtualBox for a Windows 7 machine on a Mac computer. I have VirtualBox open. I'm just going to click on New to do a new computer. And it opens up a wizard. Click Continue, asking the name of this. And this is, I'm just going to call it Windows 7. And you'll notice it changes my version of Windows here to Windows 7. And we click Continue. It asks me how much memory I want to use. Now, I do not recommend you use more than half of your memory. But I'm going to use a little bit more here because I have some available. So I'm going to do... gig of memory, and it's going to ask about a startup disk. The startup disk is the virtual hard drive. I'm going to create a new hard disk. And I'll do a virtual disk or virtual box disk image. And continue. And it asks if we want to do dynamically allocated or fixed size. I'm going to do dynamically allocated. That way it only gives me, or only takes up as much room as it needs to. However, the virtual machine will see a larger drive. So I'll click continue. And it starts with the default as 25 gig. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 100. So 100 gig, continue, and then it gives our summary information, and we make sure that's correct, and we click create. And we have to click create one more time, and it creates our Windows 7 machine. That is how you create a Windows 7 machine on VirtualBox.